I know a lot of you guys out there are still hungry for the GameCube adapter for the Wii U, so you can play with your controllers in the right way. Smash is usually meant to be played, but the availability is still very low, and we don't know when new stock is coming in. So there are some alternatives popping up. For example, I was looking on Reddit, and then I saw this. It was a post which was titled, Still Looking for a GameCube Adapter Like I Am. Well, the good folks at Mayflash may have a solution coming out soon. So if we go to the page that this links to, this is basically it. Now, this website, Mayflash.com, I'm not sure where they're based out of, but Mayflash.com actually has their own custom GameCube controller adapter for the Wii U and the PC. That is interesting. PC usage as well, too? Now, if you do have the adapter, some of you may not have it, but I'll show you right now. Um, uh, actually, no, a lot of you won't have it, but I, this just for example purposes, I'm not trying to rub this in your face or make you salty, but I have it myself. Now, the GameCube adapter, the standard one that Nintendo gives you, this is the official one, I have it, shout out to Kobe, but um, I have this, and the connectors are two USB cables. Now, that's why I find this one to be interesting, because this one says that it works for PC. Even though these do have USB, I don't think they work for PC. If I try to plug these in, I don't think I'm going to get anything happening. My PC recognizes it, and it's installing some drivers. So we're going to see what happens with this later on. But um, I'll put this to the side. But this one apparently has support for the um, computer. So it, what does that mean? Does that mean you can use a GameCube controller to play your games on your PC now? I don't know. It's not exactly too specific on here. But it says product name. Controller adapter for P Wii U and PC. So this may be exactly what you need to play Smash Brothers. I'm making this video to try to give you guys an alternative so you don't have to wait as long to get your hands on something that will let you play Smash on your Wii U with your GameCube controller, you know? So I mean, if you, let's see, um, let's see some more details about this. So, okay, product features. The GameCube controller adapter allows you to connect four controllers or wireless GameCube controllers to Wii U and PC USB. With two GameCube controller adapters, up to eight people, up to eight um, GameCube controllers can be used. Switch to Wii U or PC mode by the switch on the side. Supports the GameCube Wii emulator Dolphin. Okay, that's good. Supports the built-in vibration feedback with no delays by plugging in the two USBs on the adapter to your Wii U system or PSC via USB connection ports. The driver is required if you need the vibration feedback on the PC mode. Please download it. Compatible with XP, Vista, 7, 8, 32, and 64-bit, and Mac OS under the PC mode. So, we might just have a good alternative here. However, it doesn't say anywhere that you can buy this thing. I don't think it's available yet. If we back out of the page, we don't see any purchase options here. So, sadly, it's not going to be out yet. I don't know when this thing is going to come out, but let's see what the Q&A says. Nothing in the Q&A. Nothing in the video. Nothing of what's inside the box. No description. Straight up, just, you know, a picture to tease your penis, and that's it. We don't see anything else, so we don't even know when this thing is going to be released. This may not be such a great alternative after all, but let's see what the internet has to say about this um, supposed um, alternative option for using a GameCube controller on Smash Wii U. Native PC support too? I'm intrigued. Damn right. Who wouldn't be? I mean, that's a very interesting feature. The fact that, you know, you can use such an old controller on the PC, not, not too shabby. Um, Dolphin just added native PC support to the Nintendo version, and the original Mayflash also supported PC. Nevertheless, Mayflash released solid peripherals, and the more adapters available, the better. Chances are this will also be less expensive. Then the current adapter is um, $15 to $20 if it was like on retail without all those inflated prices. But now you're finding this thing for $60, $70, $80, 90 100 So, you know, it's kind of in the air if this one will be less expensive. I mean, how less expensive can you get than $15, $20, you know? I don't know, we'll see. Wait, does this mean you can plug in the adapter without installing the driver? Do you have to download the latest Dolphin? I'm kinda new to this Dolphin thing. So I mean, we'll let you get into that. I don't really do Dolphin myself, so I wouldn't really know too much. All this stuff doesn't apply to me, but it may apply to you. So definitely look into it. Forgive me if I linked before. Just saw this link for the first time while looking through Google Images. Do they have a price or a release date set? I don't see any info on the site. It does not seem so. This page is literally the only mention of this specific adapter. I'm still hyped though. I mean, of course. But they already have the driver up for download, so that's a good sign at least. Very true. It says they release in March? <sighs> Mayflash. If you want a tip from your boy Etika, here it is. Right now, the GameCube adapter is hot. It's in demand. People want this shit. By the time March comes by, Nintendo will have filled the supply of the GameCube adapters themselves. And they're probably going to make sure that they have enough to give out. Or at least enough to sell. I didn't mean give out like free. 
they're going to make sure that by March they have enough to sell because these things are coming back in stock in February in some places, at least GameStop I know. So if you want to make money, Mayflash, provide the product right now at an affordable price for the masses and you will beat out Nintendo when they sell their product. You got to push it. No one seems to be trying to get the money other than the freaking people who are buying the original adapter and selling it for way more profit, you know? We need a company that's going to be able to put these things out there right now. Because if you're able to do that, you're going to have profit on your hands. It's a simple equation. I mean, I don't mean to make it seem as if we're exploiting the consumers or people like myself. But, I mean, if you're going to freaking... If you're going to freaking release a product that's in demand, release it while it's in demand. Because once it's not in demand and Nintendo gives these things back in supply, then your product's not going to be worth that much anymore. So, I mean, hey, just a tip. Just a tip. Actually, no. It was referring to this one. Um, this will be released at the beginning of March. W07 is referring to the Wiimo version, and it's probably March 2014, not 15. You can find the W007 ones on eBay right now. So there was a miscommunication with the product name, but still, we don't have any date on this. It doesn't even say any date of when this comes out. I'll have it in the description, of course, as usual, so you can see. But there's no date so far. Um, no price, no date. If this comes out before Wii U adapters are readily available, Nintendo fucked up big time. What did I just spend two minutes talking to you about? This guy understands. Hopefully both companies have incentive now to hurry up and stock these at a reasonable price. Capitalism at work. That's how it works, baby. That's exactly how it works. There is more supply and demand than capitalism. Nintendo isn't supplying to meet demand, so a company was to step in and meet that demand instead. They deserve the profits they would gain. Supply and demand and capitalism aren't mutually exclusive. I mean, of course, this is still a supply and demand issue, but that is something that still happens in existing capitalism. Free market capitalism allows that. We are getting into some other shit here. Um, all right, so we, you guys can check out the comments yourself. I'll have these linked in the description as well, too. But what do you think about this GameCube controller adapter for the Wii U and PC? A very interesting incentive to get this one over the one Nintendo gives you, especially if this one has all the functionality that the official Nintendo one has and more to boot, then hey, this one may just be the better buy if it's the same price or less money and it offers PC um, compatibility as well, too. And I don't see any reason why you shouldn't get it. Now, let's see what happened with my um, with my GameCube controller adapter on my PC. It doesn't really seem to be noticed. There's nothing really that happens when I use this. I'll do a more experimentation with this later, but for now, it seems like not much happens. It doesn't really recognize it as a device. Well, to an extent. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.